Today we're going to be taking a quick look at our new Zogo Web Manager. Before we start, please note this banner where you can click to provide your feedback. It's a really brief survey and you can help us out by letting us know what you like about the manager or how we can improve your experience. So taking a look at the home page, it looks pretty similar to our other managers, but there are a few major updates we can take advantage of. Starting off in the library, we're excited to show you bulk upload. It's a highly requested feature that's exclusively available on the web manager. Using this feature, we can select multiple assets to upload at once, saving a lot of time in creating our playlists. So here I'm just going to browse my files and select these four images and click upload assets to start the uploading process. You'll notice as each of these images reaches 100%, it's going to disappear from the uploading queue. Don't be alarmed if you come back to a blank screen, that just means that it's in your library now. So once all four of these assets have uploaded, we can go ahead and leave this page and check out our other new library feature, which is bulk delete. So let's go back to the library. I'm going to go ahead and use the search bar here to find a couple of assets that I want to delete. I'm going to select these two bike images, exit the search to reveal bulk actions, and then click delete assets. Creating playlists hasn't changed much, but it does look a little bit different. Like always, we give our playlist a name and then we'll go through and add our assets. You can utilize the search bar to find assets quickly if you choose, but you can also scroll through if you don't remember the names of the assets you're looking for. Now, while we're in this process of adding assets to our playlist, you can also directly edit the duration during this step as well. So when I click on this asset, I can change the duration to 30 seconds. Now, rather than having to edit this later on in our playlist. I'm just going to click on one more and then I'll save this playlist. Creating an overlay follows the same process as the Windows Manager. You can upload a background image like so or enter a URL. So for this, I'm just going to enter zogo.io and then I'll save that. And to size it, you can drag the edges to shrink or expand in one direction or drag the corners to scale while keeping its shape. Now, of course, you'd want to design your overlay, make it look nice. And to show you an example of what a simple overlay could look like, if you'd like to place in the corner of your screen, maybe your company logo or a QR code, whatever you might choose, simply create a transparent canvas using any design software you're familiar with, place the file in the corner, and upload the overlay as a background image. Considering that the majority of the photo is transparent, the only thing that will appear on top of your content would be your logo. Now, if you're familiar with our other manager apps, adding a player would be familiar to you. I'll just assign it a name, enter its pin, select a time zone, playlist, overlay if you choose, and select the display orientation. Once you've saved your player, if you plan on using real-time mode, rather than accessing a real-time connection through the player section, there's now a dedicated real-time page where you can select a player and gain remote access. That was a quick overview of our new Zogo Web Manager. We hope you like it and please remember to send us some quick feedback once you've tried it out.